now he's motored on. Yeah, it's... You kind of worry how... Say Ali Carter was to lose this match. 10-1. God forbid, 10 nil somehow. I wonder how that affect, affects his World Championship bid, because it really would be a huge psychological blow. Take a bit of going over, getting over, because he's been playing so well. Yeah, in my opinion, this match is already over, but any chance you think it has to win these last Six. two frames but it's difficult to do from your chair seven Thirteen. You can sense a, a change in focus in a Sullivan since that frame where he made the great clearance of the last three reds. As I say, he'd missed the easy pink in the middle. And that was Alan Carter's chance to get into this match, but since then, making that clearance, he just looks a different animal to me. It's like, you know, you can smell blood out there. Get your opponent where you want him. Yeah, and this one shot, powering the cue ball through the reds, has opened everything up. Looking ominous again. Twenty-six. Talking about that change of attitude, it's actually it's a great feeling as a snooker player when you, you know you've finally broken your opponent. You know, the first four frames 33. were, you know, they were scrappy enough, but now it's just total dominance by O'Sullivan. He knows inside he's won this match. It's a great feeling. You can just relax and play your best snooker. 40. 41. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. It's amazing. It doesn't even... It doesn't really look like he's going... Walking that fast around the table. It's still at 17 seconds average shot time. And that's purely because... The cue ball control is so good... It's pretty much always in perfect position. It doesn't really have to think a lot because everything's automatic. Thirty-nine. 
56. Of course, can I say that? Lose position. Well, 56 in front, 75 on, so this blue needs to go. Well, he was certainly in control, of course, at 4-0, but it's now become an onslaught, the way he's winning the frames. One visit, queuing like a dream. Already a snooker needed here, but there's no way 69. back in this frame, and there's surely no way back in the match now. 70. Yeah, I suppose it's, like a, it's almost like a boxing match. You spend the first few rounds just jabbing away, and then... You know, your opponent's weak, and then you just, the killer blow. 77. The long handle spider, or just the, yeah. Okay. 69. No, swans down there. Oh, it's an extended spider. Yeah. You want that one? Well, it's just a bit of a mix of about what he actually asked for. <laughs> he's offered a lot of different things there, I think. Harry Carter would prefer if his cue was just taken off him. 78. So it's some viewing for the audience. 86. See the century. I think he's just well, the 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 two, just piling on the misery. Bradley Carter, with one frame to play this afternoon, Ronnie O'Sullivan extends his lead to seven nil.